Hey, Dano here. Um, well, it's late October, and uh, the weather is getting a little bit nippy out. And I thought, uh, since we've got a hard frost coming possibly tonight, I want to try and harvest as much of the basil I have left as I can. I'm going to take it in. We're going to do a, a quick drying technique. So we'll get started here. My goal today is going to be to turn this into this, which will be dried parsley flakes, and we're going to do it in under two hours. Can you believe that? All right. So after I've got my uh, basil plants uh, out of the, the garden, I'm going to go ahead and remove these leaves, the, all the good ones that I can find, from the uh, uh, plant. And I'm going to be putting them onto a microwave safe plate. I'm just going to start taking a plant and pulling the leaves off. I'm not being particularly careful here. I just want to get as much leaf as possible and as little stem as possible. So stems don't dry very well in our dehydrator. Once I get a sizable amount, which would be about a cup full of leaves off of here. I'm going to take them, and we'll just use this a little amount here for demonstration purposes. I'm going to take them and put them onto a microwave safe plate. Just sprinkle them on there. I haven't washed these or done anything like that because the essential oils and you can smell them when you bring them into a room. Uh, will get washed off. So unless they're really dirty, uh, just leave them as they are. And we're going to leave them kind of loose on the plate and put them in a microwave for about 35 seconds on high. And the reason we're doing that is the microwave energy will actually rupture, begin to rupture the, the uh, cells and the leaves releasing the water in there and actually when you take them out you can see steam coming off of them. This will accelerate the process of uh, the leaves drying out so when they go into my handy dandy Nesco American Harvest food dehydrator that I've had for a long time, I put them on these trays, they go into this for about two hours and at the end of that time they're nice and crumbly dry. I'll then take them and put them into a, a, a mortar and a pedestal, which I can never say that name right. It looks like this. And the leaves will simply go into there. I crush them up lightly. And when I get done, I end up with a, a nice finely ground dried basil herb that is ready for use in the kitchen. You know, this will store in this kind of a jar for three to four months at the very least. So you'll have a supply to get you through the winter. So then next season, uh, maybe in February, March, whenever you can start a new batch of uh, basil for the, the following fall. During the summer, of course, I always have fresh basil to use in all of my uh, pesto dishes, tomato dishes, anything that I happen to like basil in. So that's the name of the game. These are nice and crumbly, so we'll go ahead and just put them in our little mortar here. I'm just going to give these a quick Any little pieces that don't uh, work out, just take them out. You can either try to dry them further or discard them, whichever you like. We got powder really quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour that into the jar here. Um, it's a pretty easy process, as you can see. And the next thing we're going to do is our 
basil tomato soup, so stay tuned. <laughs>